another beautiful morning in Nuka Town, USA. The sun is blazing in the sky and the park is bustling with activity. It appears some of the staff are gathered in the amphitheater. And as luck would have it, our heroes are headed there right now. Let's see what's occurring. Good morning, Mr. Bradburton. Oh, hello there, Charlie. Only two. What brings you over here so early on this fine morning? We've got some deliveries for you. Sure is busy in here. What are you all doing inside this dusty old theater on such a beautiful day, anyway? Well, it is the grand opening day of my exciting new theater production, the likes of which will surpass even the most quintessential once-in-a-lifetime viewing experiences. I call it New Capunzel. Well, that sounds kind of familiar. It tells the tragic tale of a beloved heroine trapped in the gripping clasp of his top mountain. Will she ever escape? Will anyone help her? All oh, the drama. All oh, the tragedy. Ah, uh, sounds great. But uh, we better be off, Mr. Bradbyton. Good luck with the play. Oh, won't you both stay and help with the setup? We could really do with the pair of you. Well, as much as I would love to, I, I've got some other jobs to get. Excellent. That's the sort of can-do attitude we need at the park. Emily, would you mind helping out the tech team? They could do with your engineering knowledge. Uh, the painting team could do with your guidance, too, Charlie. There's lots of work to get done before the stage is set. Let's get to it. Chop, chop. The team worked tirelessly throughout the morning, past noon, and into the early evening hammering away at set pieces and constructing eccentric outfits. As the clock struck 6 p.m., the stage was set and the guests began to take their seats. But behind the curtain, Mr. Bradburton was growing ever more anxious. Where on earth are my lead actors? I told them to arrive precisely at 5 p.m., but, well, they aren't here. Oh, whatever shall we do? Nuka Punzel, it's doomed! We can help out, Mr. Bradburton, sir. Oh, Charlie, I don't know about this. Oh, it will be all right, Emily, I promise. Okay, fine, but I'm playing the hero. Give him the dress, Charlie. The pair got into their outfits, Charlie rather unwillingly, and nervously made their way onto the stage. The start of the play went without a hitch. The pair gasped, laughed, and cried in all the right places, remembering all of the lines from Mr. Bradburton's incessant bragging about how greatly written they were. But as the curtains opened on the final scene, suddenly the light snapped off, and dark, evil laughter was heard. <laughs> oh, geez, although this isn't meant to happen. Ooh, went the crowd. From the corner of his eye, Charlie spotted a shadowy figure crossing the stage. Stop right there, you brute! Get him, Charlie! I'll sort the lights! Charlie darted towards the figure, and Emily dashed to the back of the stage, fiddling with the switches until the lights flashed back on, illuminating the villain who stood at the side of the stage. It was none other than the Vim Vader himself! Damn you losers, ruining all my fun! You may have saved the play, but I'll get you next time! Ah! And with that, the Vim Vader flew out of the emergency exit door, leaving Charlie and Emily alone on the stage. The room was silent for a few minutes before the guests started slowly clapping. Louder and louder it became, until their cheers were bouncing off the theater walls and almost raising the roof. <laughs> Encore! Encore! Oh, it's beautiful! <laughs> Our heroes quickly bowed and left the stage, hearts racing from the thrill of the performance. But as soon as they appeared backstage... Charlie! Emily! Oh, thank goodness you're both all right. No surprise that that nasty Vim Vader was behind the power cut. Turns out that no-gooder gave the real actors the wrong directions to the amphitheater. Thank God you two were here. The park's reputation was almost ruined. Well, of course, that Vim Vader is no match for us. Happy to help. Another day easily saved from the evil clutches of the Vim Vader. Where will he strike next? And will his dastardly actions ever be brought to justice? Find out next time on Tales from Nuka World. Stay tuned. Shooters for adventure and news.